Bian Wusok is a rising star in the world of K-dramas and the male protagonist of the popular series Lovely Runner. But how much do you know about him? While in Lovely Runner, he plays the part of an ill-fated K-pop idol, in real life, the actor began his career as a model before moving to acting. Wu Sok was born in Seoul on October 31st, 1991, and started modeling in 2010. After completing his military service, he was discharged in 2013 and briefly worked as an administrative officer. He then returned to his career as a model and soon became a celebrity on the runway. Under the agency YG K+, he appeared on several fashion shows and made numerous pictorials. Even after becoming an actor, he sometimes still participated in photo shoots for fashion magazines. His modeling career was surely boosted thanks to his height, as Wusok is around 187 centimeters tall, although sometimes he even said that his height is up to 190 centimeters. Nevertheless, he was nicknamed Mr. Longlegs for his body, as he revealed after appearing in a photo shoot for Fashion Giant Bench. Wusok also shared in the same interview that he likes weightlifting and snowboarding. However, he also confessed that he cries a lot while looking at sad videos. In the same interview, Wusok also shared that what makes him smile the most is his dog. In fact, it looks like Wusok really loves the little puppy, and he sometimes posts on Instagram pictures with his dog, who is called Mochi, but he affectionately nicknamed My Baby. Wusok also has a favorite fashion style. He said that it depends on the occasion, but he normally wears training outfits. He added that he prefers clothes with blue and bright colors, but his favorite colors are actually purple and black. However, looking at his pictorials, it seems like Wusok is comfortable with any style as he always rocks whatever he's wearing. Despite his popularity as a model, moving to acting was a difficult process for Wusok. He made his acting debut in 2016 with a small cameo in the series Dear My Friends, but then he struggled to find other roles. He revealed that his early career was filled with setbacks to the point that he started questioning his abilities. Speaking about this, he confessed, I faced rejection in auditions over a hundred times. It felt like I failed almost every attempt to the point where I questioned if I could endure such repeated failure. So why did he decide to become an actor? Wu Sok revealed in an interview that he wasn't inspired by any movie or series in particular, but he wondered for a long time about what his true passion was until he tried acting. He shared that his life motto is enjoy life to the fullest and that he just wants to pursue happiness. And it was just while looking for happiness that he came across the possibility of starting an acting career. So he took it and was immediately hooked. While struggling in his early career, he became more ambitious and hoped to show his abilities in various roles. Thanks to his determination, Wusok endured the hard times of his early career, and after a series of small roles, he appeared in the dramas Welcome to Waikiki 2 and Search WW in 2019. He had his breakthrough soon afterwards with flower crew Josen Marriage Agency, and then he got his first leading role in the series Record of Youth. Interestingly, in this drama, he played the part of a model-turned-actor just like himself. However, Wusok revealed that he struggled to see himself in the character who was part of a rich family. Instead, he shared that his family wasn't happy about his decision to become a model, but they supported him when he turned to acting. In Record of Youth, Wusok starred alongside some well-established names in the Korean entertainment industry, such as Park Sodom, Park Bogom, and Kwon Soo Hyun. Wusok revealed that he was initially worried about acting as the best friend of Bogom and Soo Hyun's characters, as he wasn't close with them in real life. So the three actors decided to frequently hang out and read the scripts together before filming. This worked well as their on-screen chemistry was praised and the three actors became real friends. The success of Record of Youth led Wusok to land a leading role in the historical drama Moonshine in 2021. He shared that his character in the drama was hard to portray as he goes through many changes during the series. Wusok said that he put a lot of importance on the changing emotions of the character with an emphasis on his way of speaking and acting. The hard work paid off as the drama was a success and Wusok won the award for Best New Actor at the 2022 KBS Drama Awards. Soon afterwards, Wu Sok had another leading role in the movie 20th Century Girl, which quickly became a huge success. However, he wasn't even sure if he wanted to act in this movie at first. Wu Sok confessed that he was worried about having to play the part of a high school student in his 30s and was also a bit intimidated by the idea of working together with his co-star Kim Yoo Jong, who had far more acting experience than him. Wu Sok revealed that his 
his worries disappeared when Yu Jung approached him first, and the two quickly developed a great on-screen chemistry. After playing an important role in the movie Soulmate in 2022, Woo Sok starred in the drama Strong Girl Nam Soon the following year, and now he has another leading role with Lovely Runner. Solidifying his position as a major name in the Korean entertainment industry, Woo Sok was invited to present the awards for Best New Artist at the 2023 MAMA Awards, and he revealed that he's a big fan of the K-pop group Rise. He added that Rise was the artist he wanted to meet the most, and then posted some photos with the group and in particular with Rise member Anton. Many fans commented that Woo Sok and Anton look similar, adding that the actor could even blend in as a member of the group. So, Woo Sok fulfilled his wish of meeting Rise and became a successful fan, and now he even plays the part of a K-pop idol himself in Lovely Runner. While his passion as a K-pop fan might have played a part in helping him get cast, Woo Sok knows very well how important his current role is, and he revealed that he was actually aiming to obtain the role. Woo Sok added that he likes to act in romantic comedies, to the point that he wants to be called rom-com genius. However, it looks like Woo Sok's character in Lovely Runner, Ryu Son Jae, became more popular than him. During his recent appearance on the red carpet of the 25th Jeonju International Film Festival, many fans could be heard yelling, Sun Jae instead of Woo Sok. Even the actor seemed a bit flustered by this as he couldn't help but laugh. Still, he made sure to interact with all his fans, even stopping to hold hands with them. Netizens praised his fan service, but many still called him Sun Jae. Fans are indeed excited about seeing Woo Sok as Sun Jae and his chemistry with his co-star in Lovely Runner, Kim Hye Yoon, who plays the part of Sun Jae's passionate fan, Im Sol. The two actors appeared in a YouTube video for Ella Korea, where Woo Sok confessed that he's so tall that his height difference with Hye Yoon caused some problems on the set. Hye Yoon revealed that she had to always wear shoes with high heels, and Woo Sok added that the camera had to be set in a particular way to hide their height difference. With the popularity of Lovely Runner launching his career to new heights, what does the future hold for Woo Sok? He revealed that he wants to try acting in many different roles, not just rom-coms. He even named a few possible roles that he wanted to try, and these surprisingly include a fantasy drama character and even a psychopath. We're sure that whatever's given to him in the future, Woo Sok will do a great job. As Woo Sok became more and more popular, you might think that he was involved in some kind of dating rumors, but he actually kept his love life very private. The only dating rumors about Woo Sok came after the release of 20th Century Girl, when people started to speculate about the actor possibly being in a relationship with his co-star Yu Jong. However, it seems like these rumors only emerged because of their on-screen chemistry and weren't based on any concrete evidence. In fact, there have never been any serious dating rumors about Woo Sok, so it's likely that he's not seeing anyone at the moment. However, Woo Sok has revealed some interesting details about his first love. Just after the release of 20th Century Girl, he was asked in an interview if filming the movie reminded him of his first love. Woo Sok shared his experience, confessing that he had his first love in middle school but was unrequited. He added that he fell in love with a girl he was very close with but was never able to share his feelings towards her. He continued by saying that he regrets that he wasn't able to confess his love back then. But now he has learned from this experience and knows how to express his feelings more openly. He added that he's not in contact with his middle school crush anymore and that she doesn't know that he had feelings for her. However, it seems like Woo Sok might still be fond of her as he also said, I think the first person that you truly like is your first love. Recently, Woo Sok appeared on a variety show and added a few more details on his love life. One of the hosts asked him about his ideal type and Woo Sok initially just laughed loud after hesitating for a bit, he said that his ideal type actually never changed since he was young, and that since he thinks he's a little goofy, he would like to date someone who is wise. 